So we are going to start the discussion. Okay. So the first question is the same as usual assertion and reason type of questions. And four options here. I have changed the last one. In the last class, both assertion and reason are false. Such an option I have added. And here, C and D I have changed. Assertion is true, but reason is false here. Here, assertion is false and reason is true. And such a change I have made here. Okay. So do remember, do remember assertion is true, reason is false is C option, and assertion is false, reason is true, the D option. A and B has no change at all as usual. Um, the correct explanation uh, that is the first one, and the second one, it's not the correct explanation. Okay. So let us start the discussion. The first question <coughs> see this. Digestion that breaks large complex molecules to simpler smaller molecules which can be easily absorbed. You have to say whether it is correct or wrong and the reason digestion is necessary for the absorption of all molecules. Which one is true Vaiga? which one is true? Digestion breaks large complex molecules to simple smaller molecules which can be easily absorbed. Okay, see I am just writing assertion that is true and what about the reason? Digestion is necessary for the absorption of all molecules. Is the digestion necessary for absorption of all molecules? Just you can think and I will display my answer and tell me whether it is correct or wrong. Assertion is true and reason is false. Here says and my question is, is the digestion necessary for the absorption of all molecules? Is the digestion necessary for the absorption of all molecules? Necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Both are true. Assertion and reason. Then true. Uh, who is that? Leah. Assertion is true. Then Vaiga reason is also true. Yeah. Digestion breaks large complex molecules to simpler smaller molecules which can be easily absorbed. And reason, digestion is necessary for the absorption of all molecules. See, I will tell you one thing. I will tell you one thing. See, in case of fat, in case of fat and uh, sometimes the glycerol fatty acid, everything can be, everything can be. Uh, consumed as such that is without any digestion can be absorbed okay without any digestion can be absorbed which one glycerol and fatty acid but large complex molecules there should be the digestion there should be the digestion so that then only it can be get absorbed understand digestion makes large complex molecules to simpler smaller molecules which you can easily absorb this is true and for that we are making a correct statement see this digestion is necessary for the absorption of uh, all molecules some molecules are exception that is they themselves we are consuming but carbohydrate fat and uh, proteins they are digested for what purpose for easy absorption yeah Vaiga says that the reason is also true yeah assertion is true both are true okay so that my question is whether this one is correct or wrong <coughs> assertion is true reason is false is that correct the first statement is correct. You have to you have to find the answer in this way. See, which can be easily absorbed by the process of digestion. And second reason says that digestion is necessary for absorption of all molecule. So that we can say assertion is correct, reason is correct, 
and reason is the correct explanation of a assertion. So, it cannot be C, okay. And which one is that? It is, yeah, it is A, isn't it? It is A, yeah, Vaiga Tirtha, okay, no other one is responding, why you all are keeping quiet? You also can respond, okay? Okay. So, here answer I am putting A. And the next one. Lipases helps in emulsification of fat. Lipases are the lipid digesting enzymes, right? Lipases help in emulsification of fat. Is that statement true? Reply fast, okay? Reply fast. Lipases helps in emulsification of fat. It is false. Last day we have discussed about it. Bile salts are helping emulsification of fat, right? Bile salt. And do learn this. Bile salts are responsible for the emulsification of fat. So, this statement is wrong. And here, lipases hydrolyzes fats and oils. Is that correct or wrong? Lipases hydrolyzes fats and oils. Yeah, that is true because lipases are the lipid digesting enzyme and the digestion process is actually what? Hydrolysis. So, which one is the option? Here my answer is option D. Is that correct or wrong? Option D. Yeah, option D is the answer. Okay, then the next question, the third one. Here, energy is used during the process of respiration. Energy is used during the process of respiration. A reason, respiration stores energy in the form of ATP. Is there any energy used, used? for the process of respiration or energy formed during respiration. <clears throat> what is happening there? Assertion true or false? Hmm? Assertion true or false? Just tell me T or F. Energy is used during the process of respiration. Yeah, yeah. It is a false. It is produced, isn't it? And a respiration that stores energy in the form of ATP. ATP. And here my question is this one. Which is this question and option? My option here is D. What is say? What is that saying? Assertion is false and the reason is true. Isn't it? Assertion is false and the reason is false. Yeah, that is the correct one. D. And the next question, the next question, and here it is, in humans, in humans, there is a complex respiratory system. In humans, there is a complex respiratory system. Then, reason, human skin is impermeable to, impermeable to gases. Hmm? Which one? Human. In humans, there is a complex respiratory system. Is that true or false? Human beings have a complex respiratory system. Then, human skin is impermeable to gases. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Which one? Assertion or reason? That's my question. Assertion or reason? <coughs> yeah, both. Yeah, both. Dia, seeing you after a long time, I think. Yeah. And my answer here is option B. Is this true? That's my question. If assertion is true, reason is true. But reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. Isn't it? So that, which one will be the answer? Is the statement clarifies this one? No way. No way. See, humans, there is a complex respiratory system that is correct. Human skin is impermeable to gases that is also correct. But this statement doesn't clarifies the assertion. So, 
option B. So, option B here is a correct answer. Then the next question, fifth one. The muscular walls of ventricles are thicker than auricles. We know that atrium, atrium are also considered auricles, also called auricles. The muscular walls of ventricles are thicker than auricles. Is that correct? You can reply fast, okay, so that I can also explain the answer in such a fast way. The muscular walls of ventricles are thicker than auricles. Yeah, yes, it is true. It is true. And can you say why? <coughs> why? Why the walls of ventricles are thicker than atrium? See, heart which is having four chambers and separated by a septum, the walls of ventricles are thicker than that of the walls of atrium. And why? What is the reason for this? What is the reason for this? Because ventricles are supplying blood from the heart. So, in a high pressure, in a high pressure, yeah, in a high pressure, it is pumping the blood throughout the body and to the lungs. From the right side towards the lungs. From the left side, it is towards the body part. So that it has to pump the blood throughout the body and also to the lungs. It has to pump the blood. That's a fact. Because of that, ventricular walls are thicker. Then, a reason. This helps in preventing backflow of blood. Is the thick walls of ventricle prevents the backflow of blood? Is that the reason? No. Then what is the reason? What is the reason of preventing the backflow? Where, whether there it is the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve or the veins in uh, the veins of, uh, sorry, valves of the veins. Valves of the veins, whatever. Yeah, valves are the reason. The presence of valves, the presence of valves only preventing the backflow. And there, here it is the answer, it is C. And is the C option correct or wrong? Assertion is true and the reason is false. Is this matches with the option? Yes, yes, it is correct. Because assertion is true and the reason is uh, false. <coughs> okay, so whenever you are writing the exam, you have to read the four options first because I have told you C and D can be changed in between. It can vary from question paper to question paper. So once you read, then only you have to answer. Okay, then the next question. The next question that is the sixth one. Assertion here. <coughs> in human heart, there is... No mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Is that correct? In human heart, there is no mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Correct or wrong? Yeah, the statement is true. And this type of circulation is known as what? Anyone knows? Do you remember the name? Hmm? Do you remember the name? This type of circulation? Yeah, very correct, Vaiga. That is double circulation. Double circulation. Okay, double circulation. So that the left side and the right side both are separated by a septum. The right side carries impure blood, left side carries pure blood. Isn't it? That is why there is no mixing of uh, oxygenated and uh, deoxygenated blood. Okay. And here, this is true. And what about the reason? Valves are present in the heart, which allows the movement of the blood in one direction only. In human heart, there is no mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood is assertion. Then reason says, Valves are present in the heart, which allows the movement of blood in one direction only. And my answer here is option B. Option B. 
And is this matches with the statements? <coughs> what about the second statement? Is that true or false? Whilst the present in the heart which allows the movement of the blood in only one direction. Is that correct or wrong? Yeah, this is also true. This is also true. But is this the clarification of the first one? Is this the clarification of the first one? In human heart, there is no mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. That is okay. That is fine. And is this statement says anything about this one? No. No, this is not the correct explanation. Both are true, but this is not the correct explanation of this one. Okay, because valves present, which allows the movement of the blood only in one direction that we know. That is why it prevents the backflow. Isn't it? That all thing we have learned. And a human heart, there is no mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Why? Why? Because it is separated by a septum. Isn't it? The chambers are separated by a muscular septum <clears throat> and uh, this is for ensuring the availability of uh, oxygen all the time because we human beings are active all the time, isn't it? We human beings are active all the time on higher vertebrates, whoever, they are active all the time. So, for this activity, they need oxygen all the time to produce energy so that a sufficient supply of oxygen is ensured by separating the chamber of the heart by a septum. And this is not because of the presence of valves. Valves definitely prevent what? The backflow of the blood. That is only allowing the movement in one direction. That is why it is option B that given here is correct. Next question, the seventh one. Again, about the valves. Valves are present in arteries. <coughs> Correct or wrong? Valves are present in arteries. Yeah, this is false. Valves only present in veins. Valves only present in veins. Okay, then arteries carry oxygenated blood from the heart of different body parts except pulmonary artery. Arteries, all the arteries that carry oxygenated blood from the heart to different part of the body except pulmonary artery. Yeah, this is true because pulmonary artery carries what? Deoxygenated blood, isn't it? Deoxygenated blood and that is pumped towards the lungs for oxygenation, isn't it? It is applied to lungs for oxygenation. So, that is true. So, assertion is false and reason is true. Which one is the option? My answer is here option D. And is it, is it true or false? Yeah. Vaiga, Anushka, it's D. Yeah, Dia, D. Yeah, it is correct. So, that option D can be considered as the answer. The next question 8. Assertion, human body produces, produces highly toxic substances which if not eliminated may cause death. Human body produces highly toxic substances which if not eliminated, may cause death. Correct or wrong? Human body produces toxic substances. <coughs> Correct. Isn't it? Human body produces toxic substances because of metabolism. Because of metabolism, some toxic substances, nitrogenous waste materials are produced within the human body. We have to eliminate this within time. And if not eliminated, if you fail to eliminate, what will happen? It may lead to death. Okay, it may change the consistency of the blood, it may change the pH uh, value of the blood and it may change the ionic concentration of the blood so that it may lead to death. Okay, that is true. A reason says here is excretory substances removes nitrogenous waste from the body. Excretory substances removes nitrogenous waste from the body. No. The statement has a problem, okay? 
excretory organ okay excretory organ uh, removes nitrogenous waste from the body excretory substance is not that excretory organ and my answer here it is b <coughs> see human body produces highly toxic substances which if not eliminated may cause death that is correct one then excretory organ removes nitrogenous waste from the body correct or wrong it is also correct but is this the correct explanation of this one <coughs> Is this statement the correct explanation? No. And why? And why it is not the correct explanation? If we plan to give a correct explanation, what explanation we will give? We will, uh, we will write here. See, human body produces highly toxic substances which if not eliminated may cause death. I will give such an explanation like this. See, if the toxic substances accumulated in the body, it may change the concentration of the blood. It may change the blood toxic so that the animal or the organism will die. And if that sentence is the reason, definitely assertion and reason both are true and reason will be the correct explanation of this one. But definitely it is related with it, but it is not the correct explanation. Okay, so answer is option B here. This is true. Okay, then the next ninth question. Excretory unit of kidneys are nephrons. Excretory unit of kidneys are nephrons. Correct or wrong? Yeah, this is correct. True. And it has no role in secretion of waste materials. It has no role in secretion of waste material. And have you heard of, have you heard of secretion, <coughs> reabsorption, secretion, hmm? yeah, reabsorption, secretion. It has no role in secretion of waste material. Is it true? It's false. It's false because this uh, renal tubule or the nephron which is involved in the secretion, isn't it? Tubular secretion we will say. Tubular secretion. So, which one will be the answer? True and false. Assertion true, reason false. So, that option C. This is the correct answer. <coughs> then the next one. The tenth, hemodialysis can save the life of patients with the kidney failure. Hemodialysis can save the life of patients with the kidney failure. Correct or wrong? <laughs> this one. It is correct. It is true. Okay. Then what about the reason? Waste products like a Urea can be removed from the blood by hemodialysis. See the reason? Waste products like a urea can be removed from the blood by hemodialysis. Yeah, again it is correct. And see this, hemodialysis saves the lives. How? How hemodialysis saves life? By removing waste products like a urea. So, we can say assertion is correct, reason is correct and reason is the correct explanation of a assertion. So, which one will be the answer? And my answer is this one. It is option A. And is it true? Yeah. Anushka? Yeah, option A. Leah? Then? Yeah, Vismaya? Okay, okay. Yeah, option A is the answer. Okay, so we have finished it. We have finished it, assertion and a recent type of questions. And the next part of this is case study questions. And case study cannot be always a paragraph of uh, sentences. 
or a paragraph of a condens it can be a simple figure and see this this is the excretory system <coughs> okay this is the excretory system human excretory system and read the passage uh, two sentences only the given diagram represents the structure of human excretory system study the diagram and answer any of the five questions any of the five questions that means so many questions will be given and five questions at least you have to write but here only five questions i have given to you so that i have changed the paper like this and let us move to the questions and before that here some labelings we can see and if you want if you want you can just mark in a pen uh, in a paper by using the pen because i'm just uh, turning the slide so that you may not able to uh, see this options okay so one it is labeled what ureter one ureter and two kidney and the third urinary bladder and the fourth urethra so do one thing just mark all these four first one ureter second kidney third urinary bladder and the fourth urethra i hope you have done this okay so i am just moving to the question and this is your passage and this is the diagram for you and the next first question identify the part 1 in excretion and which is the part 1 which is the part 1 part 1 part 1 yeah it is ureter ureter isn't it is not urethra it's ureter so answer is option b isn't it ureter is the answer it's labeled one ureter yeah very good very good okay vismaya diya vaiga liya tirtha okay the next question which of these is the structural and functional unit of part 2 and which was part 2 part 2 what is labeled part 2 kidney yeah okay kidney is labeled part 2 and what is the structural and functional unit of uh, kidney it's again it's again which one b that is nephron nephron here it is marked uh, nephron okay nephron then the third one the third one how can we purify the blood by artificial methods <coughs> how can we purify the blood by artificial methods yeah filtration dialysis reabsorption all of this yeah it is dialysis isn't it it is dialysis dialysis is also known as artificial kidney right dialysis is also known as artificial kidney again the answer is option b okay then the next the fourth question the main waste present in the urine is the waste product the major waste product present in the urine human beings human excretory system the picture we have seen so here it is urea again answer is option b okay then the last question for this case choose the correct path of urine in our body correct path of urine so first of all the site of formation then the organ of transport then the organ of storage then the expelling organ yeah the formation the site of formation kidney from the kidney see three kidneys are here so 1 2 3 can be the answer but from the kidney it moves to ureters so here and here ureter given first two option kidneys first three option kidneys then second two options we have ureters 
and ureters and the third part we definitely know it is urinary bladder and urethra is not and finally urethra so that it is option C isn't it option C is the answer for this question so case one over and the next case here it is a passage okay I read the passage and answer the following questions I will read the passage for you water which is very important chemical required as a solvent in many biological processes and it is needed as a raw material for photosynthesis as a main substance from which plants evolve oxygen and provide hydrogen for the synthesis of a carbohydrates it helps in translocation of chemical substances and minerals and in this manner maintains uh, internal transportation and uh, uh, osmosis is a special type of transport of water molecules that occurs through semi permeable membrane and osmosis is movement of solvent from where from the region of higher concentration to a region of a lower concentration that here says diffusion pressure to a lower diffusion pressure across a semi permeable membrane and it is of two types endosmosis and exosmosis endosmosis is the osmotic entry of water into a cell organ or a system exosmosis is the osmotic withdrawal of water from a cell organ or system so we have discussed here about diffusion then uh, importance of water endosmosis exosmosis diffusion membrane okay so related to these things here we are going to frame some questions okay you know <coughs> the water absorption isn't it the water absorption through the plant roots the plant roots roots has tiny <coughs> hairs and through which the water is enters in and the xylem vessels are conducting it and by the process of osmosis the water enters if we put a raisin in water what will happen to it it will swell if we put some beans into water what will happen it swell right so a five number of questions here so we can move through here the question a flowering plant is planted in an earthen pot and irrigated okay in an earthen pot a flowering plant is planted and we irrigated it we give water to it urea is added in high amounts okay urea is added in high amounts to make the plant grow faster but after some time the plant died this is due to why this happened exosmosis endosmosis water logging suffocation which one will be the answer yeah <clears throat> dia says it is a any other option any other yeah tirtha is also saying that it is a yeah an earthen pot and here it is a plant and we are adding urea we are adding urea urea means here it is salt that means water is very less so that from the plant from the plant water goes into soil from the plant water goes into soil that is exosmosis water is moving out water is moving out so that answer is option a the next question that is a slice of sugar beet placed in a concentrated salt solution would show no change lose water and become flaccid initially absorb small quantity of water become swollen a slice of sugar beet sugar beet placed in a concentrated salt solution <coughs> what will happen it is a plant plant has cell membrane cell membrane will take in and take out water 
So what will happen? In a high salt solution, in a high salt solution, if we put a slice of sugar beet, the water will lose from this sugar beet slice, okay? The same thing that we have seen in case of the urea. So, water will move out, water will move out from this, understand? And then the cell become flaccid or this thing will become flaccid, okay? Yeah, answer is option B, lose water and become flaccid initially, okay? Then the third question, the process of diffusion is involved in, where the process of diffusion you have learned, respiration, photosynthesis, transpiration, all of these. We have learned respiration, where we have learned diffusion. Yeah, in photosynthesis also we have learned diffusion, in transpiration also we have learned diffusion. So, all of these, yeah, Leah, Vismaya, <coughs> Anushka, Dia. Okay, yeah, option D is the answer, all of these. Okay, then the fourth question. The plant cell cytoplasm is surrounded by both cell wall and the cell membrane. We know that animal cells don't have a cell wall. Plant cells do have a cell wall. So, plasma membrane is there and also cell wall is there. The specificity of the transport of the substance is mostly across the cell membrane because why? Specificity of the transport of the substance is mostly across the cell membrane, plasma membrane. Why? Plasma membrane has a special characteristic feature. Cell membrane is impermeable, that is wrong. Cell membrane is permeable. But is it completely permeable? We have to say that cell membrane is selectively permeable. It will not allow everything to pass through it. It will allow only a particular um, percentage of material, sorry, some particles only to be crossed through the membrane. Cell membrane is fully permeable, it is again wrong. Cell wall is impermeable, that is wrong. Cell wall is permeable, but cell membrane is a selectively permeable. Answer is what? Option B. The last question of this case, based on the given figure, which of the following statements is incorrect? See, here it is a membrane shown and this is a semi-permeable membrane. And in one side, solvent is more and here, solute is more. And tell me, which are the statements? Those are uh, happening, which is incorrect. Which one is incorrect? You have to find out which one is incorrect. The first statement, movement of the solvent molecule will takes place from chamber A to B. Solvent, solvent means water, solvent means water. Definitely water is high concentration here so that water will move from here to here. That is osmosis through a semi-permeable membrane, right? Movement of solvent, solvent, not solute, solute means a salt, solvent means water. So, water will move from high concentration to low concentration. That is why from the soil, the water enters into, water enters into the root hairs, okay? So, that the first statement is correct. Movement of solvent molecules from A to B. Next one, movement of solute will take place from A to B. Will these solutes will move? Is the solutes will move? No way. Solutes cannot cross the membrane. Okay, solutes cannot cross the membrane. So, B is wrong. Then, presence of semi-permeable membrane is a prerequisite for this process to occur. For this process to happen, and can you say what is this process? This process is osmosis, isn't it? <coughs> this process is osmosis. Osmosis is a diffusion itself, right? So that for the pro process to occur, the presence of a semi-permeable membrane is the prerequisite. That is again correct. Then, the direction and the rate of osmosis depends on both the pressure gradient and the concentration gradient. Definitely, the pressure gradient and the concentration gradient are very important for this process to happen. And what do you know about this concentration gradient? 
where the concentration of water high from that region water will move to the low concentration through the semi permeable membrane so both pressure gradient and uh, um, concentration gradient are uh, essential so this is also correct so which one will be the answer answer is option b that is incorrect so our case type questions also finished and then we have 10 multiple choice questions, normal MCQs. See the first one, <clears throat> most of them are simple. During deficiency of oxygen in tissues of human beings, pyruvic acid is converted into lactic acid, which is happening where? In cytoplasm, chloroplast, mitochondria, Golgi body. Where this is happening here? Yeah. Yes, cytoplasm. It is A. And cytoplasm of which cell? Tell me, cytoplasm of which cell? Lactic acid is formed in cytoplasm of which cell? Yeah, in muscle cell. <coughs> muscle cell. In lack of oxygen, right? Lack of oxygen. The condition is anaerobic. Yeah. Then the next question. Lack of oxygen in muscles often leads to cramps among cricketers. This results due to, why does this happen? Conversion of pyruvate to ethanol, conversion of pyruvate to glucose, non-conversion of glucose to pyruvate, conversion of pyruvate to lactic acid. Now only we have discussed the same, so answer is option D, that's for sure. Yeah, option D is the answer. Then the third question, which of the following statements is or are correct? The first one, pyruvate can be converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide by yeast. Pyruvate can be converted into ethanol, ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide by yeast. This is true. Then, Fermentation takes place in aerobic bacteria. Fermentation itself is anaerobic. So, it is false. This is false. Then, fermentation takes place in mitochondria. Fermentation cannot be taken place in mitochondria because mitochondria is a site of aerobic respiration. Then, fermentation is a form of anaerobic respiration. That is correct. So, how many statements are correct? The first one and the last one. So, one and four. So, option C is the answer. Okay, option C. I hope you are getting this, right? Then, the fourth question. <coughs> which of the first enzyme, which of the first enzyme to mix with the food in the digestive tract? Which of the first enzyme to mix with the food in the digestive tract? Pepsin, cellulase, amylase, trypsin. Yeah, option C, amylase. Tirtha, Dia, Vismaya. Yeah, everyone saying that it is option C, amylase. Yeah, which amylase it is? Which amylase it is? It is salivary amylase, right? It is salivary yeah salivary amylase in pancreas also amylase enzyme there isn't it that is pancreatic amylase and pepsin is digesting what pepsin is digesting protein and it is produced by stomach it's produced by stomach cellulase is digesting cellulose cellulase is digesting cellulose and there is no cellulose digesting enzyme in human beings, isn't it? That is why we are not eating plants raw, isn't it? Like cow, goat, etc. We can eat carrot, <clears throat> then, then what? Cucumber, then something, uh, green veggies, right? So, all these things we are eating which are not at all digested. They are not at all digested 
in the body. They are contributing the roughage to the body that the fecal matter will move very smooth, nothing else. The vitamins and minerals can be absorbed, but this cellulose cannot be digested. Okay, so the green veggies we are consuming is directly moving to the fecal matter. Okay, then the last one trypsin. Trypsin is also a protein digesting enzyme. Trypsin is also a protein digesting enzyme. Okay, then answer is option C, amylase, salivary amylase. Then the next one, choose the event that does not occur in photosynthesis. The event does not occur in photosynthesis. Absorption of light energy by chlorophyll. A reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. Yeah, very fast all of you. I am so happy for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, oxidation of carbon to carbon dioxide, conversion of light energy to chemical energy. We know that photosynthesis has three major events. They are absorption, reduction, uh, sorry, absorption, conversion and a reduction, isn't it? So, here the event which is not a part of photosynthesis is what? Oxidation of a carbon to carbon dioxide. So, answer is option C. So, uh, in the process of uh, in the process of a uh, transportation and uh, excretion, in the process of a uh, transportation and uh, um, excretion, you have to give more importance because most of the MCQs can be asked from that area. Okay, most of the MCQs can be asked from that area. Uh, like uh, uh, you may be confused with the concepts, the words, and all. And I think nutrition and respiration is much easier for you. Okay, so. Okay, do the exam very well, okay? Mm? All the best, all of you. Thank you.